What's up, NBA gang? It's Main B here, back with another video for you guys. So, today, can you guess the look? Sorry if I'm looking up here, I'm looking at myself. Yes, it's a bomb. We got the skunk stripes. Yes, ma'am. Um, so pretty much I decided to like go ahead and do my makeup just because I was creating a TikTok, which I will might, you know, very might well insert that. We'll see. <laughs> what the vibes are giving um i really don't want this to be a super long video um this is going to be pretty much a voiceover me explaining the steps um, my camera died when i was straightening the hair but honestly we should all know how to straighten hair but i didn't mean to like the camera died so that was my fault my apologies um other than that I just kind of want to just get straight into the video. You're going to see me bleaching the hair. You're going to see me um, straightening the hair. Um, what I, I didn't film me putting purple shampoo on it, but um, I did keep the purple shampoo in there for about 10, 15 minutes. So that is how, you know, this doesn't look so like, I don't know. I mean, the, the color that it is, it's going to look brassy. Um but it lifted very very well i didn't want to keep it on there too long because i still wanted the hair to have body as you see this hair still has body so that's pretty much it um i'm not gonna talk your guys head offs so let's get straight into the video um please do not forget to comment like and subscribe and you know follow your girl on instagram at main b with two underscores and follow me on tiktok at main b one underscore um i post little transition videos um so yes give your girl a follow and without further ado let's get into this video what's up and be gang it's your girl main b here you already know what it is um right now i am customizing a 13 by 4 it's either 13 by 4 or 13 by 6 lace frontal unit from That Neat Freak, um, local um, hair seller out here in Indianapolis. So that's what I'm doing. Um, you really want to make sure the consistency of your bleach is more of a pasty, not so pasty like you would bleach your knots, but a little bit more liquidy than that. Just because this is a small area, I don't want it to run on the other parts of the hair. So I'm going to separate piece by piece and dye it just to make sure that the hair is bleached all the way through. There's no black strands. We don't want to leave any black dots within the hair that is tacky. If you do get hair on the other strands of or the other parts of the hair, it's not going to be that big of a deal. You can take a towel and just wipe it off before it starts to change colors. Um, that's not that's not a huge issue. Um, you see how it has like black in the middle of that a little bit, even though I did put bleach all the way through. I took my brush and I'm just going to brush some more bleach into the hair. Um, I'm going to go in with my aluminum foil just so that I can secure that heat inside of there just to make sure that it's going to be able to process as evenly and as fast as I want it to. Once I do that, I'm going to put a piece of aluminum foil on top of it just so I can seal that heat in on top of the head as well. I'm going to do that to the other side um, and then I'm going to let it sit for 15 minutes as you're going to see in the next clip. 15 minutes, y'all. 15 minutes. You heard? Let that stuff sit for 15 minutes and it'll come out looking just like this. So this is after I use purple shampoo for 15 minutes as well. Go in with your purple shampoo. Put, let that sit for 15 minutes. Please trust the process with this, y'all. After you do that, I went in with some um, Tresemme conditioner just because it's a $4 conditioner and it works wonders when, when it comes to um, 
like, I guess you can say weave. Human hair, synthetic hair, it works wonders. So I put that in there and I leave it in there and then I blow dried it. It looks kind of stiff right now, but I did take some oil sheen to it just to give it more of a shine. Um, now I'm going in with my Care Care stick. Um, this is a wax stick. I'm going to be using my hot comb to make sure that my install is as flat as it can possibly be. Um, you definitely want to invest in a hot comb if you don't already, if you want to start getting into doing your own wigs and such. Just because that hot comb is really going to make or break your install when it comes to it looking very sleek and elegant as the girls would like it to look. Um, right now, I am definitely trying to do a side part in this hair. But I really wasn't feeling it, as you've seen in the first clip and my introduction. I, I wasn't feeling the side part. I ended up doing a middle part, and it turned out exactly how I wanted it to do. Or it turned out exactly how I wanted it to turn out. So this side part was really just me wasting my time. But I did go to Florida, and I went when I, after I did this hair. And while I was there, I did switch it up and ended up doing a side part. And it turned out being cute. But for this and what I was trying to do, I just stuck with the middle part, you know, stuck with what I knew best. But, so I'm just going to go in, you guys, with my Chi flat iron. Um, and I'm just going to go in, I believe I put it on 350. Sometimes I go in on 410, but 350 is like a safe space just because you don't want to fry your hair, or have your hair looking any type of way. Um... My camera did die while I was filming this, but I am glad that I got to get some techniques out of there of what I was doing so that you guys could see how it was flat ironing the hair. And I am rotating it just to give the hair a little bit of a bump at the end because nobody likes, you know, don't you don't want a flat looking bob. You want it to have a little bit of a curvature to it. So that's what I was doing. And as you can see, the hair still has body. It's very... It's very live and in effect, <laughs> as the girls would say. So, uh, in this next clip, you are going to see me going in with my Hair by Erica J um, Lace Adhesive. This is in the scent Watermelon. Oh, I, I don't know why this, um, click is, this clip is sped up so fast, but I'm just going to let it do its thing, just because I don't want this video to be, like, super long. Especially when I do want to do a more in-depth video with me not doing a voiceover. Just so that I can talk to you guys and show you guys my whole entire process while I'm recording the video, pretty much. Um, this is the, so the cap construction, I'm pretty much tightening the little bands on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just secure the lace to my head. I was having some issues when I was doing it just because I waited too long. And the glue dried up on me. So just letting you guys know, this glue definitely dries pretty, pretty fast. And you are going to want to pretty much have your lace already prepared on your head, ready to go right back into it. So fold it back as it's on your head. Fold the lace back. Put your glue on there. Let it turn clear. And then go ahead and put your lace on top of that glue. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my lace band. And that's just going to melt the, the lace into the glue. Um, combing all those hairs back, at, now you see I decided to go ahead and go with the middle part. And I'm going to also go with my hot comb again. and just brushing all those tangles out. But I like to have a very, very flat install. So the hot comb is an essential part of my routine. And I think it should be an essential part of everybody's routine. So unfortunately, the video is about to come to an end. Um, and I did want to apologize about that just because I don't know what happened to my footage. It definitely broke my heart seeing that I don't know where my footage went of me doing like the finishing touches on like my baby hairs and stuff like that. Uh, I did comb all of those loose hairs out of the lace just because it is a, a wig that was already put on. So the baby hairs were already cut. So it's it was more easy for it to go into the lace. Um, you're going to see... a picture of how it looks when it was done and I just want to say thank you guys for watching and comment down below what other things you would like me to see or make.
Yes, ma'am. You was trying too hard.